Welcome to Krefeld, Germany at 9.30 at night. They're gonna close pretty soon here. It's only me and Justin Bieber, yummy. There's nobody here and sometimes I have the same problem in LA. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I just get up. I just took a nap for two hours and I just wanna go shopping right now. I just wanna walk around. I just don't wanna stay at home, so. Here I am in the German supermarket, just walk around and look at, just look at stuff, what they can, what you can buy. Banana juice, nectar. I didn't even know they have stuff like this. So I just like to walk around and see what you can buy. What am I missing? So that's what I do in the middle of the night. I mean, not in the middle, but it's 10 o'clock almost. And they got beer here everywhere, all the beer. I just bought some drinks right here. They got the diet soda. Everybody says diet soda is bad. I'm not drinking diet soda all the time. This is a uh, lemon flavor. Then they got the cherry flavor. I'm just trying it out. Which one tastes good? Vanilla one. They got the mezzo mix. That's mixed lemonade and Coca-Cola, I think. It's without sugar. And that's where they have all the beer here. Those are the classic Pringles, they're dollar nine. I always say dollar, it's a euro nine. Did you know that Pringles are not allowed to call themselves chips, even though they're chips? But they are dollar nine cents. Adding a German beer. Oberbräu, Hellbräu, Allgauer Bräu. All those different beers. I don't know what it is with me that I always have to walk around. But I kind of like it. Go to a deserted supermarket, you're the only one. It's raining outside, so people don't really want to go out. Look, they got a fire extinguisher right here. Stuff which is absolutely unimportant, I see. An empty supermarket. Ah, house in the middle of a street, so you can even listen to some nice music here at night. That makes a good thumbnail here. Nobody in the store, only the GIV. I've done a video in here before, but that's when they had all a lot of people in here. <laughs> Pineapple, two ninety nine. We got the bananas, one ninety nine. How much are those? 149 for the avocados. Papayas. Kinder Überraschung. Those are banned in the United States. I think they changed in too. Before they had toys in there. Yeah, they still have toys in there. But I think it was a choking hazard or something. That's why they don't allow it in the United States. Those are only 95 cents. chocolate everywhere the funny thing is I don't even crave anything I haven't been eating any chocolate for a long time look at all that yummy stuff they have here those cookies they got those what do you call those I forgot Lika line I used to love those Löffel biscuits. You can make good cakes with it. If you put those in milk, dip them in milk. Mm, I can actually feel it, how it melts on your tongue. This is for my Lieblingsmensch, which means my most, the person I love the most, Lieblingsmensch. All different flavors. Those are really good too. Spritzgebäck. My mom used to make those. How much are those? Two ninety nine. Speculatios. This is all the Christmas stuff. The one thing I really miss in the United States, you can get everything sugar free. Here, it's really hard to find something that's sugar free. Like they have ice cream in America. They got cookies. They got power bars. They got all that stuff sugar free. It's really hard to find this here. So sometimes I'm snacking on something 
that has no sugar, which is only in America. Here, I couldn't find anything yet. Everything one euro. Is there anything? Skull, head, glasses. What is this? Little birds. And Halloween is coming up pretty soon, so they got the Halloween stuff out already. All the makeup stuff. $4.99 for some makeup. You can get all that stuff at the 99 cent store in LA. Oh, look at this here. More Halloween costumes. And like I said, Halloween is more like a thing in the United States, but over the years, it became really popular because there's money to be made. I never remember when I lived here that we celebrated Halloween. I got some really cool detail stuff here. Look at this, those clowns. Pretty scary, $17.99, that's expensive. 19.99 for a nice rubber mask. There we go. Skeleton. $49. That's about the same price in LA. Well, that's the Halloween section. They don't have much more. Day of the Dead. Some cool hats. That was it for the Halloween. Ferrero Rocher. Mm -mm -mm. For only two forty-nine. My mom told me to get some Brötchen. And look at this. It says right here, one is 17 cents. For the whole thing is 85 cents, which is not too bad. Those are really good, but I also don't eat those anymore. Pumpkins, Gartenzwerge. I got like a little Smurf. Smurf house, I guess, I don't know. Those look like ice cream sandwiches, but it's just, I think it's like foam or something. Not foam, you know what I mean? Like it's really soft, really sweet, but they look like ice cream sandwiches. The Nutcracker. See, you would have never expect the supermarket being that empty here in Germany. They got M&Ms for $2.99, peanut ones. Oh, Austrian waffles from Wien, Wien. Used to love those. Duplo Riegel. 419 my friend Robert loves those so when I go back I'm gonna buy a whole bag full of candies for him he loves all that German stuff Süßwaren everything sweet Milka chocolate German chocolate Oreo for 139 for one bar of chocolate Yogurt, 149. Lots of variety here. That milk is expensive though. Weide, oh that's, that's not milk, that's uh, what do you call it, Zana. I did not plan to film here, but when I walked in and I said, wow, there's nobody here. You might want to see that. See, that's a good thing, you can always Make a video out of nothing. Midnight shopping, 10 o'clock shopping with the GIV. Hello, hello, anybody here? No? <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese. 269. How big is this? It's not much for 329. That's expensive, huh? Wow. So they also had an increase in the price here in Germany. Before, everything was way cheaper. If you watch my other videos I did, 
about shopping in Germany. Everybody's still complaining how expensive everything is in Germany. I mean, this really looks expensive to me. The cheese is not much cheese. Look at this. But I don't really know the prices in America because I never buy cheese, but I like those here. This is a Kühlregal. That means everything is cold in here. I can't believe this is not butter. 129. Remember Fabio, the guy with the long hair? I can't believe this is butter. Well, I'm not Fabio, I'm Flavio. Representing Venice. Haushaltswaren. This is like almost like a Target or Walmart. They got everything here. You can buy computers here, pants, coffee machine. Iron boards, iron. Oh, I saw a person there. Küchengeräte. They got mixers here. The bar mixer really mixed whiskey. Mix the bar mixer really whiskey? Try to say that. I don't know whose secret this is, but it's definitely not Victoria's secret here. Wäsche und Strümpfe. Remember when Michael Jackson had to rent a whole grocery store because he wanted to feel like a normal person and shop in the middle of the night? That's how it is. You just come to Germany and shop in the middle of the night. You're not going to get bothered. Nobody's going to ask the GIV for a signature here because there's nobody here. So if you become really rich and famous and you want to go to a grocery store, just come to Germany. Before they close, there's nobody here. Maybe I should have come here a little bit earlier because they're closing right now, so... I gotta go to the cash register and pay for this. I guess I cannot finish this video. It's probably just gonna be a short one. Textilien. Pillows. That's one thing I like better here in Germany. They got really nice pillows. You never have pillows like this in America, 80 by 80. You only get those little, really small pillows like this size i guess this is a standard size that's one thing i had a problem with because i couldn't find nice pillows here they're really thick the pillow i have here really nice uh oh look at this no more no more ketchup for the giv man i used to eat ketchup on everything i put ketchup on ketchup and those are one my favorite one the sh curry one extra scharf but no more. If you look how much sugar is in one of those things. Salz, Iowa's sugar. 23 grams of sugar. So let's go to the cash register here. We got the Lego here. Marvel Lego. Spielwarenabteilung. Toy store. All right. Oh, those are the Bavarian hats for the Oktoberfest. Ooh, that's what they wear here. It's the whole thing, Oktoberfest. You can get your October shirt, Oktoberfest shirt. The glasses, what else do they have? Oh, those little ones here, they look cool. Small hat. That's what the Germans like. They put beer in here, one here, one here. And then you got this little straw here and you drink it. Pretzel. Schatzel, Hamann Schatzel. Well, I know for sure now that I'm gonna be here more often when there's nobody here. I remember when I used to live here, they would never let you look in those magazines here. If you come here and stand here for like two minutes, they say, oh, you can just buy them. You can't just not read them. You have to buy them. I always remember that. I was really surprised when I went to Barnes and Nobles. People bring their coffee, their computer, they just sit there and read all the books, whatever they want, then bring it back. Nobody says anything. Here they always say something. Well, that's all I'm gonna buy here. That was it, at closing. Everybody's going home. 
Metzgerei, they're cleaning everything for tomorrow. They got those Brötchen with Rinderfleisch for two euros. But this is the best deal you can get for one euro. You get like a piece of meat and a Brötchen. Absolutely incredible. Vielen Dank für Ihren Einkauf. You got the flowers here. This is actually really, really clean supermarket, I would say. Just wanted to show you this. I really like this seed here. I don't know, it looks like it's a VW bug, but they made it into like a little seat. That would be something cool to have, right? In your living room. I think this is a real car. Let me see if it stopped raining. Yeah. Stop raining. Globus. That's actually the only store that is open till 10 p.m. Every other store is closed. And I told you before, you don't see any shopping carts in the parking lot because you gotta return them. You gotta pay one euro and then you release it. And then when you bring it back, you get your euro back. I'm gonna try the zero sugar lemon flavor Coca-Cola but some smart German invented this. So this is not gonna come off anymore, see? And you can't really drink out of it because this is always in the way. Makes me crazy. And I'm not the only one complaining. You can't really take it off. You gotta rip it off. But everything comes like this. They say it's better for the environment. Post. See, Germans always come up with some new stupid ideas yeah now you're not going to lose it but it's always in your face when you drink it it's on your nose you know <laughs> i don't know you hear tina in the background what's love got to do got to do with this that was a good song rest in peace tina turner private dancer to do crazy Germans what's love got to do with it that's the most important thing love love for doing stuff has to do with everything look at this if you're American you probably don't know what we use this for you have to have this in your car if the police pulls you over and you don't have this they give you a ticket so this is for, if you have an accident, you gotta put this outside so nobody get, hits your car. If you don't have it, they give you a ticket. There's something else you have to have. Look at this. First, you have to have a first aid kit, a must have. If you don't have it, you get a ticket. This is a brand new one. Mom has it in here, it's still sealed. So when they do like a random check on people on the street, <clears throat> they also check for this. This is a vest you have to wear. When you go outside your car, if you have like a little problem with your car, there's another one here. What else is there? No, this is a service bag. And look, <clears throat> I told you guys that my mom is not that good with walking anymore. I got this from Google. This is like, like a little push thing. You can lean on it. Hopefully mom can walk better with this if you're gonna go for a longer walk. I also have to say thank you very much for all your comments, what I should do, get an electric scooter for my mom or get like a little wheelchair. The problem is just, I don't think mom has a problem being in the wheelchair. My dad was different. When my dad couldn't walk anymore, he had problems breathing. Uh, and I asked him, hey, do you wanna get a wheelchair so we can still go to places? And my dad refuses to go in the wheelchair because he never wanted to do it. And that's another thing I think Maybe mom is a little bit embarrassed if I push her around in a wheelchair. You know, it's like, it's, it's not easy, I would think, you know. I, everybody has their own pride, but I said, mom, don't worry about it, you know. It's just, it's much easier to go somewhere. You can still walk around, but for some people, they have a lot of pride. They do not want to be in a wheelchair, and I understand that too. Look at that parking lot here. They're going to film Back to the Future Part 3 in here. Foxes, no, not foxes, small. It's the 
Twente Hill Mall, Twin Pines Mall. May I show you when you return this one here? And you take this little thing and push it in here. Normally you put a euro in here, but this one fits too. You get this for free. Even mom has to represent Venice Beach. And of course, Los Angeles, City of Angels. My mom got this holder for her phone. I should get that one in my car. So you just put your phone in there like this. You don't need a tripod. Now I can actually drive, film myself and film forward. So sometimes when you see me filming, I actually have the camera right there and it films outside. So I don't have to hold the phone, which is pretty good. The night is still young. It's 10, 15. All my friends uh, at home, they gotta go to work tomorrow morning early. So they don't wanna stay up too long. I could go there but I feel like driving around, it's so weird. But that's what I, that's how I am and that's what I do. Drive around in the middle of the night. Düsseldorf would be too far to go right now. We could go to Krefeld right now and I show you what Krefeld looks like at night. There's nothing going on. It's like a deserted city and there's no homeless encampments on the streets. There's no tents, nothing. You don't see anything like this. Once in a while, you see a homeless person laying inside the doorway maybe, but there's no tents here. I haven't seen not any tents. And people say, please show us the homeless in Germany. There's not that many here in my city. If you go to big cities like Berlin, Frankfurt, they do have problems over there. So maybe one of those days I'm gonna go to Frankfurt or Berlin, and then I show you what it's like to be homeless in Germany. Anyway. I'm just rumbling here, but I made another video for you guys. And maybe you were interested in watching this or not, but hey, gave me something to do. Now I got to go home and edit this here. Editing, do the editing. On this little bottle here, there's fund, which means recycle money. Sometimes they charge you 25 cents extra. So if you take this bottle, bring it back, you get the quarter, 25 cents. A lot of people throw it away because in LA you get like three cents, two cents, maybe four cents. I don't even know how much you get. I, I always throw my bottles away. But here you collect them and you get 25 cents, which makes a lot of sense too. That's why people don't uh, throw their stuff away. Sometimes the Germans think smart. Sometimes. It's too bad that they don't have a 7-Eleven where you can get a piping hot caffeinated beverage in the middle of a the night. They don't have that here. Germans are really good with recycling. If you have some bottles you don't get any money for, you just drop them off here. They got the white glass, everything is white. Then they got the brown glass, they got the green glass. And look at this, they collect clothing. All your old clothes you just bring here, put them up there. They got a lot of them here, I've never seen that before. So if you have like, Stuff you don't need anymore, just throw it in here. This one is for shoes. You probably wonder how much the gas is here in Germany. If you take the Super, it's 187 a liter, which makes it 750 for a gallon. 750 for a gallon. So 750 a gallon, this is in Euro. So if you change the Euros to dollars, it's probably almost $8 for a gallon of gas. And this Mercedes uses a lot of gallons, so I'm just paying for gas, paying for gas. That's why a lot of Germans have little cars. You don't see big cars, V8s. Some of them you see, but not like LA or America. You don't see anybody with a 4x4 V8 engine pickup truck. Too expensive. Here you see those little, little cars. everything for the environment. This is a gym called FitX. All my friends work out here. It's open 24 hours a day. That's really good. You get free drinks in there and I think they charge you 20 bucks a month. All the gyms in LA
they're closing early now. Before it was 24 hours open. Now after the pandemic, every gym closes at 11. The ones I'm going to, Gold's Gym closes at 11, I think. Um, LA Fitness. Maybe there's one open 24 hours. I don't know, but not the one where I work out at. And I think that's a pretty good thing that they're open. I wanted to sign up here and work out, but they only do like yearly. So I can't really give them any cash money. Everything is by computer. You cannot pay cash. They will not let you work out for like a month or six weeks. I said, okay, I'm paying 50 bucks. They will not do that. So too bad that I can't work out here. Are you still here watching me? Thanks for staying that long. I actually got myself some jump ropes. Today I was jump roping in the backyard. That's really good exercise too. Mike, why do you always have to compare everything? Because that's what I do. I'm German living in LA and I just want to show the people what the difference is. There's one thing I can't believe. LA is such a big city. I mean, there's Culver City, Venice Beach. Every little city has their own fire department. But I'm just driving by here. I've never seen this here before, but it's on the way home. And you gotta check this out. This is insane here. Seefeld is such a small city, but look at all the fire engines they have. I don't know if they go out to different cities too, but that's incredible. Look at this. One after another after another. I didn't know that. It's like 20 cars, even more, I don't know. There's a beer garden here. We can drink beer. That's where all those people are coming from, I guess, or the finish, or I don't know. Beer garden. More and more people are coming. I don't know if there was a concert or something. They all look like they're coming from a concert here. And this is the Kulturfabrik. They have like a comedy store in here sometimes. Tonight there was like a small concert, I believe. They're all coming. Out of the Kulturfabrik. Yeah, maybe that was a bad move driving in this street here. You can tell the way they're dressed, they're German. That's what I like always. But they have a lot here too. That's a Spielhalle for gambling. All those places you can gamble legally. They got like money machines. You put money in just like in Vegas. And another Spielhalle, another gambling place. Some people like to gamble at night. Some other people just drive around in a car and look what's going on. Each his own. We're in the city right now. As you can see, there's not much going on. Here they got all those Dönak stores, Shisha store, kiosk. And there's the Hauptbahn holes. Train station. Well, I had to stop by at the local bar and get myself something to drink here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm back home in my mom's basement. Believe it or not, we have a bar in the basement. Look at all the drinks we have in here. But we haven't had a party for a long time. Since my dad passed away 11 years ago, he built everything you see in here. And we had many parties here, but ever since he passed away, we never really had a party again. So all this is in the basement and nobody uses it. It's like a full bar. We have the music, we got everything here. So, and I thought I'm gonna end the video right here, but before I'm gonna end it, I wanted to tell you something. Since I'm in Germany right now, I have more time on my hand. Sometimes it rains outside, I cannot film. So I have plenty of movies on my phone I, had, I did not edit yet. Like, you know, when I went to the Rainbow, I did some other stories. I went to this show, to this show. So I might upload some videos. They're actually older. So a lot of people are going to write, I don't understand. Are you back in Germany? Uh, are you back in America since you posted this video? No, I'm still here in Germany. But I'm just going to post some videos I still have on my phone. Even though I say that right now, one day you're gonna check the comments and people say, are you back in America? 
No. Sometimes you have to say it five times. Anyway, this girl is still on the phone. Can you hurry up, please? Anyway, if you happen to like this video, nothing really happened in this video, but I think it was fun. I had a good time. I was there walking around. I had a really good time, believe it or not. So if you happen to like it, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to The German in Venice. It's going to get tough to get the million subscribers this year. I said by the end of the year, I'm going to have a million subscribers. I really want that plaque on my wall, that little one million subscriber plaque. But you never know. I'm putting it out there again. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe one of those videos are going to get viral and they're not going to get like a million subscribers. Who knows? Keep dreaming, German in Venice. See you guys later. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.